Hey everybody, this is Robin from Violet Botanical Skin Care and welcome back to Work With Me Wednesday. You know I love it when you join me at work, but today I'm not in the lab, I'm in my office and I wanted to answer a question that I frequently get when I'm doing pop-ups. Why is my skin so ashy? Especially when I'm applying lotion all day. Well, stick around and I'm going to give you some factors that can contribute to your ashiness and also I can give you some recommendations of what you can do to help alleviate it. So the dreaded ashiness question. Well, there are factors that can contribute to that. One could be you have dry skin, which means that lacks sebum. And sebum is the natural oils that our body makes. It could be due to heat. Heat reduces humidity, which means that there's less moisture in the air. It could be over exfoliating and scrubbing. You know, sometimes people overdo it and they exfoliate and scrub several times a week, which is unnecessary. Or it could be harsh soaps. Now, harsh soaps, they strip your moisture because the function of soap and how they're formulated is to remove oil. And here's a big one for me and my family is eczema and psoriasis that causes dry skin. Uh, it could be medical treatments or medicines or certain conditions that you have that could be causing your dry skin. And another um, factor that can cause your dry skin is aging. As our skin ages, it thins, which means it produces less oil. So therefore, it doesn't retain water, it doesn't retain moisture, hence the ashiness. So some things that you can do, reduce the use of water-based products. Now, in the beginning, I said, people said to me, why is my skin so ashy? Because, especially since I'm using lotion all day long, well, most cosmetic products are up to 95% water and lotions are usually about two thirds water, one third oil. So what you want to try to do is use an oil rich product and they keep you moist all day long, during the cold, during the dry, during the heat. And so some oils that you can use that are good for your skin and they're plant-based. You can use marula oil. Like it, we have our marula oil. You can use marula oil, which is a sustainable crop that is wild harvested. It's not farmed or anything like that. And, or you can use um, mangango oil or Kalahari melon seed oil. You can also use shea butter or any other kind of butter. Now we use Nalotica shea butter. Again, that is wild harvested. Um, you can use mango butter, uh, cocoa butter, and believe it or not, you can use coconut oil. Now, I will caution you with this because not everyone can tolerate coconut oil on their skin. Me, I can use coconut oil from head to toe every day, 10 times a day, and I will not break out but some people, it will irritate their skin. So just test a small area on the inside of your arm, a, a discreet area, and see how your skin reacts to the coconut oil. And the reason why these products or these ingredients are good is because they're all emollients. And an emollient, what it does, it protects, it moisturizes, and it lubricates your skin. And it just kind of gives you that all day moisture coverage so that you don't have to keep using your lotion over and over and over whenever Mr. Ashiness want to come visit you. So that's my tip for today. And to answer your question on what can you do with your ashy skin? So those are the things that I have found that is helpful for my family and for me, like I said, especially because we have eczema. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
share it with someone who might have dry skin or might have eczema or, or may have asked you this question before. And if this video was shared to you, sign up for our newsletter. The information is down below. Sign up for our newsletter. And again, I want to thank you for joining me with Work With Me Wednesday, and I will see you next week.